chapel. Adios amigos. Adios amigos. Chabella. With fall officially here, I wanted to go over my clothing wish list for the fall and winter and go over some of the items I either can't wait to buy or try to find cheaper alternatives to because some of the items on the list are just too expensive. You guys saw my last video, I did a giveaway for the CDG phone posits and that giveaway has now concluded. Shout out to Alex over in Romania for winning them. Hopefully you get your pair soon. If you guys don't follow me on IG, it's BLVCK, hoodie with three E's. We do a lot of this type of stuff and other type of content, but enough with the rambling. Let's go ahead and get into today's video. The first item that's gonna be on this list is going to be the Coach Empire Carry All 48. Now, the Carry All is a bag that Coach has done that comes in multiple sizes. I believe you have the 30, 35, 40, and now the 48, with the 48 being the biggest. And this seems to be the bag that all the girls, all the women are loving. I have never been a bag person. I get a couple every once in a while, like most of the time, like sling bags, crossbodies, things of that sort. But I have really been feeling the big weekender bags, especially with me doing a lot more traveling. Sometimes it's a hassle to just bring a backpack. But I wasn't prepared for what I, what I was gonna have to do. I did some digging, trying to find out more about this bag, and I got onto Reddit. Dude, I, I had to hop on Reddit forum to figure it out. I go into some Reddit forums, and there's like 40, 50 year old women talking about how they called up their reps to figure out when the bag was gonna be in stores, put them on a wait list. Dog, this is this is not my arena. Like I'm not gonna win out against these like 40 year old women to get this bag. The black bag doesn't even drop until 2025, but the distressing that they did for the runway, there's a TikTok of the creative designer for Coach um, where he talks about this show and talks about all the bags. It's a great video, you guys should go watch. But he talked about how they like distressed the bag. The bag to me kind of reminds me of this bag that the row did in almost like a Birkin, uh, Jane Birkin bag. So I think that's kind of why I like the vibe of it, but uh, I don't know. This, this to me seems to be something that I'll probably never get my hands on, but it's definitely something I'm trying to keep up to date with. Next item is one that Instagram ads got me with. It is going to be the cherry studded fur belt. Now. I love studded belts. I have my R Legacy one. I love fur belts. I have multiple Prada ones. So the combination of the two just seemed like the best of both worlds. I'm not the biggest fan of the giant cherry like studded design, but the overall look of like this brown fur transition to white, like this cow fur with the studded design, something like that is like, I, I, I need it. Like I need that one. Maybe not the exact cherry one, but something similar to like that type of model of belt I need, especially for this fall winter. You guys know me, I love accessorizing with my belt. It just adds so much detail to a fit. So this is something that's also definitely, definitely on the list. Next item is something that might catch a couple people off guard. If you guys know me, I'm a huge football slash soccer fan, but me and my boys have been playing pro clubs a ton and our pro club kit was the FC Basel 2023-2024 kit. If you guys know, it was like a reimagined version of their 1893 kit. And it looks very similar or reminds me of the Barca 2008 kit that you used to see like Messi in them in. So I kind of want to buy this kit and rock it. I absolutely love it. The red and blue color, the black one and the white one are all fantastic. I've been loving them. So I really, really want to buy it and like style it more so towards the end of winter, kind of going back into spring, I think is what it would be best. But you guys let me know what are some other kits that maybe you guys have really been really rocking with or tell me if I should go ahead and cop it. I don't know. Next item is going to be the Los Cinto, which I'm hoping I'm saying that right. Raw denim. Um, this is for my boy Finley Lawton, if I'm not mistaken. He's done two drops of this denim. I've missed out on both. The last drop sold out, I think, in a minute. It, it, it sold out instantly. 
So shout out to him, he's doing incredible work. The design and detailing that Finley's done with this pair of denim is incredible. There's a reason why it's selling out. It's because it's, it's beautiful. I love what he's doing. If I can just get my hands on a pair, I would have already copped it, but I can't. So shout out to Finley and shout out to Los Cinto Raw Denim. It is definitely something on the top, top, top end of my wish list. Next is the only pair of shoes currently on my wish list. I feel like a lot of shoes I've pretty much copped already, but it's going to be the New Balance Mew Mew 530. I wasn't a fan of the first colorway that they did. Um, I, I think it looks better on other people, but for me, I just don't think it was gonna work. However, this distressed black colorway they did, it's definitely calling my name. I'm trying to convince myself not to buy them or to not try to save up the money to uh, cop a pair because I don't really need another pair of black leather sneakers. Next item is going to be the Vuja Day bomber jacket that they just released. Now, I had been waiting for them to release this bomber jacket for a while. I was praying. I was saving. If you kept up with me, I was selling some stuff. I was hoping it would be under six. Um, 850 is crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but, but I had to get it. I had to get it. So I have already bought this one. So this is kind of like a cheat because it's not really a wish list if I've already got it. But it'll be in the mail here soon. Hopefully I'll make some shorts, some TikToks, some Instagram reels, try and get on, telling you guys what I think, um, seeing if the sizing is right because it's always all over the place for me. But this thing is beautiful. I do really, really like the oversized pillow-esque shape they've been talking about and doing came in the black and then in this like caramel like bronze color that was really really nice um i might have convinced myself to get the bronze color if it wasn't for the steep steep price tag but realistically any bomber jacket for the fall winter is like an essential to me in my opinion but uh yeah so absolutely love this one moving on to the next one next item is going to be one that's kind of more general it's not like very brand specific or anything like that or color anything it is going to be a leather trucker jacket i've been looking for the perfect one for a little over two years they're incredibly hard to find you know a hundred percent genuine leather um trucker jacket i love denim trucker jackets but i don't wear them as much um i've only seen one that i've really really wanted to grab but the pricing was a bit ridiculous but i've been really looking in the vintage market to try to find me one that is the perfect rendition of it. I kind of want it to remind me of a Levi's Type 3 or a Levi's Type 2, um, but those are kind of hard to find. So I'm still on the lookout. If you guys know or have any good recommendations yourselves of a leather trucker jacket that fits that criteria, please tell me in the comments below. I would love to delve deeper into you guys' recommendations to possibly find the perfect one after my two year search. Next item on my list is going to be the Benny Andalo. I'm hoping I pronounced that right. I I'm sorry if I didn't. Um, Baker hat. It kind of reminds me of like a, not beret, but it's this wool cap. I originally, and I don't know if this is the exact model, but I remember seeing Skepta walk the runway and he had this like black wool hat on and I've searched forever trying to figure out what is the exact model and this is the closest thing I have found to it. I don't know if it is the same one or if it's just something that looks very similar but it's the closest thing I found to it but I've absolutely loved that design of a hat where it kind of gives you this like like beret type look without it being a beret it's like a cooler or masculine version of that the only thing i have with this type of hat is it does remind me of mario and luigi like i feel like i would have seen this on them like all the time so that's my only thing if it was red or green it literally would just look like that so i don't want to cosplay as mario but the black version that that overall look a wool cap i absolutely love so Definitely, definitely want to buy something similar to that. Speaking of wool hats, the next item on my list is going to be the Mantle R11 wool hat. Now, I don't know if this was one I saw ASAP Rocky pictured in, I think in 2011. I don't know. It just looks so similar. And the thing with the ASAP Rocky hat is it had this very unique, like, like it was almost like it came in a little bit, like it, it like concaved inwards and then went up. It's not cause like normally you have like a five panel or a six panel hat, a five panel, you have that like front that's kind of like built like this. This one like came in like this, like there was an inner seam. I haven't really found any hats that match that, especially in wool, but I did find this company that I, I think is based in Australia 
and it's their R11 wool cap and it looks identical. It looks identical. So I really want to find that. The only thing is it's impossible to find. When it released, of course, you could buy it, but I, you can't buy them anymore. They haven't made anymore and it was a older release. So I'm still on the lookout to try to find one maybe secondhand or hoping and praying that they do a re-release of the hat. But I'm trying to put y'all on game, dude. It's these, it's these like little niche brands that make some really dope stuff that I find by trying to find an alternative to something that someone else has already worn. But the wool hat, I feel like will be fantastic in the winter time, just to give you a little bit of added texture while getting warmth, especially when I've been wearing hats all the time. Last wool hat. As you can tell, I've really been on a wool hat, like beret type of kick. It is going to be the Clyde Sassy Wool Beret. I don't, I don't know if that's exactly how you pronounce it, but it's a different version of like a black beret. Um, I really like this one, found this as well, digging, trying to find a different versions of berets or different versions of wool caps. And this is what I kind of came up on. Really like this. My only problem or concern, I should say, is it does look a little small. And you know, my head, it's not the smallest thing ever. So I'm a little concerned that it's not gonna fit me the way I'd want to, um, but it does look incredible. I've seen multiple pictures of it online. It does look really, really nice. So also on the lookout for something like that. In, in general, with all three of these hats, I, I'm just looking for wool caps. Okay, that should be like the, the overall moral of these last three items, wool, black, hats that's it last clothing item on this list is going to be the r legacy leather vest or this shirling leather vest that's reversible i'm not looking for maybe that exact model but that's the one that is probably the closest to my vision i know that stussy made one that is also very interesting that i like my only thing is they're crazy expensive i'm not looking for these 700 dollars leather vests i don't even know if i'll like it i just think a leather vest would be fantastic for the fall when it comes to layering not in the classic like vest button down underneath combo no no no, we're not doing that and maybe that's just a southern thing that i see all the time but not like that i'm talking like you know maybe throw on a t-shirt throw on a long sleeve um dress it up a bit dress it down you know any type of way just with the experimentation of it and just because it's leather i feel like it adds a bit more something to it but once again, I'm open to alternatives because the pricing on these leather vests are ridiculous and I'm looking in the vintage market to try to find some very similar to this. But once again, it's a little difficult. But uh, yeah, let me guys know in the comments below if you guys know any other brands who make similar vests to this. But let's move on to the last item. Now, I saved this item to last because I totally lied about when I said uh, I only have one piece of footwear here. I do. I have two. Um, but this one is a little weird. You guys know me. I like the weird. I like the ugly. I like the difference. You know, I like something that makes you think, makes you want to experiment. And I've had my eyes on this pair of slippers for ages. Um, they didn't make them in my size. They still don't really make it in my size, but hopefully I might be able to squeeze into it. And those are going to be the Pronza Schuler Sculpt Slippers. Once again, I do not know if I said that name at all correctly. So let me know in the comments below if I didn't and how to pronounce it properly. But I have wanted something like this for such a long time. It's a little weird, okay? To me, it's an elegant Vibram Five Finger. Like that's the best way or the best compliment I could give these shoes but it's kind of cool like i kind of like it so i want something like this and i honestly considered buying five fingers i i arrest me I, I don't know what's happening dude i think i'm at stage six of personal style i i don't know now i'm getting to the part where i'm i'm in too deep i don't know what to do anymore okay but something about these is calling my name dude i think it's just the weird and ugliness of them like like the idea of being able to see your toes like something about that is like making me be like, I want that and not in like a weird way, you know, pause. But something like this kind of is cool. So I don't know. You guys let me know if I'm crazy or something, but that's going to conclude my fashion clothing wish list. Let me know in the comments below. What are some of the items that you guys have been wanting to cop or to experiment with this fall winter? But that's going to be it for me. Adios, amigos.